God made human beings because God loves stories. And Selma's story is, I'm sure, one that God loves very, very much. How fitting that this faithful pillar of the church should die on Easter Sunday, the day in which we commemorate Christ's resurrection from the dead. One story over, and another just beginning for Selma. So let us give thanks for Selma Young. Mother, grandmother, great-grandmother, church elder, friend, community supporter, generous, kind, and giving, child of God. And let us also give thanks to God for the blessing, the wonderful blessing of sharing some part of our lives with hers. Amen. We are going to sing another hymn that was one that Selma loved, the old rugged cross. Please stand as you are.
after a brief time of illness, we are also grateful that for Selma, death is past. The troubles of this life ended, and she has entered into the joy of your closer embrace. Selma wondered, O oh God, as do some who knew her, if her decision to die with medical assistance was in accord with your will. In the end, she rightly trusted in your understanding and your compassion that whatever her decision, she knew you were present to support her in that decision. <laughs> Jesus once said of God that his followers would do greater miracles than he did. And perhaps modern medicine is among those greater miracles. So we give you thanks that modern medicine has given us more options, which while sometimes making our decisions more complex, also can richly bless us in our living and our dying. Thank you for your presence with Selma in her dying, one that was peaceful and surrounded by love. Comforting God, we pray for family and friends of Selma. Especially, we pray for you to comfort and support her beloved children, Diana and Raymond, Jim and Cindy, Alex and Di. We also pray for Selma's grandchildren, Mary Frances, Kevin, James, Cody, Sean, Brandon, Lexi, Curtis, as well as Selma's nine great-grandchildren, remembering granddaughter Tiffany and husband Jim. We pray for all other family members, her many friends and acquaintances. May all who knew and will miss Selma know, O oh God, the comfort of your love, through the support of others and the peace of your presence. And guide us all as we seek to offer support and care, healing and hope to one another and especially to those who most feel this loss. Let us bear witness to the hope which is in Jesus Christ, in life, in death, and in life beyond death. And now hear us as we sing an older version of the Lord's Prayer that Selma liked to sing. Please remain seated. Selma, 
that April 7th being the date of her wedding anniversary. And I'm going to keep that promise. <laughs> Please stand, jury. Let us pray. Holy God, by your creative power, you gave us life. And in your redeeming love, you have given us new life in Christ. We wholeheartedly commend Selma Renata Young to your merciful care. In the faith of Christ, our Savior, who lived, died, and rose again for our salvation, and who now lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. May God bless you and keep you. May God's face shine on you and be gracious to you. May God look on you with kindness and grant you peace. I invite the family to follow me as we go across to the hall, and then of course the rest of you um, can follow behind. Thank you.